The NASCAR Busch Series debut of Anthony Foyt the fourth has not gone well. And pieces are flying off the car. There's the rear bumper bar the, that tries to keep that bumper cover on the car has fallen off. And that is from contact with the outside retaining wall down between turns one and two. So second caution of the race is out and we'll see if any of the leaders come to pit road. The pit lane still closed right now. Johnny Sauter up front. Back at Memphis Motorsports Park. Caution out. There's the reason. A lot of damage to the back of T.J. Bell's Chevrolet. Kyle Krisloff also involved in the Hendrick 5. Up in turn number 3. See some damage to the left fender on that 5 car. I guess that's good after this bit. And so the third caution to race out. It's uh, just about 20 laps after the leaders pitted last time, so none of the front runners coming on to pit road. As you said, Alan, they only had six sets of tires when they got here on Friday, so they can't use up another set of tires this quickly, only in 15, 20 laps of green flag racing. They might want to pit. Can you walk? 28 cars on the lead lap at this point in the race. Trouble, turn two. Is that John Wood? It is. Oh, my goodness. Looks like the left rear tire is blown on the 47 car and caused him to spin and back around the fence. And Heavy, heavy damage to this. And the radiator's broken. We see the water coming out of the front of the 47 car. It is. Was the tire flat before the crash, or was it the cause of the crash? Uh, well, let's see. It's already in progress, but just looking at the tire and all the damage, my guess is the tire is what caused the spin. Georgia. Yeah, that looks like a wreck about to happen in the back, but they got through it. Je no, they didn't. No, I'm sorry, they didn't. Travis Kittleson. 68 car around. Caution flag is out. Let's see if we can see what might have happened, Travis. Yeah, not really. But there is some damage to the right front fender. Well, it didn't come from there. Might have gotten a little help in the, in the back. That was Ron Young in the 71 car. Might have been some contact, but let's don't indict Ron Young on what I saw there. Travis, one of the drivers who was involved in that Roush Racing Gong Show, the competition to see who might get a ride in a Roush Racing truck for next season. Made it into the, I guess you'd call it the semifinals. Semifinals, yep. yep. He was in Darlington, the final 12 went to Darlington, South Carolina. He was part of that group. Temperature has dropped about 20 degrees. When we started the race today, it was at 103 degrees. Now it's down to 84. Trouble in the corner. Looks like, is that Aaron Crocker in the 40, in the 40 car and yep. Steve Grissom in 49? Yep. Oops. Looks like there might have been some contact there between the two cars. Mm -hmm. Edwards, but he's not there. That's for fifth place. Just to finish that thought, thinking about him. Oh, trouble. Turn three. Reed Sorensen's in it. Jason Leffler, that's Justin Labonte in 44 going around, and we'll add about four more in the back there. We have a genuine mess off turn four. On board with Brandon Miller. It looks like that the 32 car, Jason Leffler, got in the back with 41. Yeah, got in the back with 41, the 21 car. And then it was on. Kyle Grisloff in five is involved. Bobby East in the 46. Looks like uh, Aaron Fike got a piece of it. Scott Spoon's just about to have Kenny Wallace, a 22 car, up against the wall, but no caution flag. He's rolling. Oh! Trouble, turn four. More trouble. And they're still piling in. Big trouble. Boy, oh Joel God. Kaufman, Anthony Foyt, Justin Labonte. Is that Reed Sorensen back there? Travis Kittleson. Yep, there's Reed, third place driver in points. Right side of the screen. The 44 car, I don't, did he, did he make contact with the 21 car? Might have. I can't. It was an awkward looking spin, wasn't it? It Steven was. Steven Wallace involved in it. Yes, around he goes. Bill Elliott in the six got some damage. Mm. 
No, Justin no. got hit from, from, by, behind. from behind by the 12 car. Yep. And Stephen Walsh made contact to the inside wall as well. Now watch this. Dang. Hey, our camera lived through that. That's amazing. That's why Steve made contact with the wall. He got pointed there yeah. by another car. Done pretty well in 10th spot for that race. And of course, Hamlin in the qualified fifth. If the Redskins were just undefeated, it'd be perfect. Well, one thing oh, trouble. trouble. Ashton Lewis, Randy LaJoy. Caution flag. See Randy going down in the corner and just gets in the back of Ashton Lewis in the 25. And... Well, he'd like to think there that uh, Randy had a little brake trouble. But looks like the 32 car. Man, he just goes in there and drives straight in the back of the That's what I mean. He went in there. The closing rate was so fast. You'd like to think that he had a little brake trouble there. Looks like the 32 car of Jason Leffert also got some help. <laughs> 